is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Join Ninja Nation. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Logan Allen, who had seven strikeouts and six scoreless innings. He had this painted fastball, these six sliders, and these sweepers, and got a sword on a sweeper. He also had this cutter, but I thought his filthiest pitch was this changeup that only had 697 RPMs. An incredibly low spin rate for a changeup, and almost in knuckleball territory. To give you some idea, Devin Williams' airbender has four times the spin rate this pitch does. Allen faced Graham Ashcraft, who had two strikeouts in seven innings, given up three runs, and had these sliders, and got a sword. Bryce Elder was really good with three strikeouts and seven scoreless innings, giving up only one hit. He had these sliders and this two-seamer that was slightly off the plate, but we'll take it. My favorite part is after that slider for a strikeout, C.B. Buckner pointed at Bowers and chased after him, and I thought it looked like he stole his wallet or something. Elder faced Luis Severino, who had five strikeouts and four innings, giving up three earned runs, and had these 99-mile-an-hour heaters, as well as these filthy cutters. And I thought Seve actually pitched pretty well, considering he was facing the Braves. Bailey Falter had five Ks in five and a third innings, giving up one run and had this curveball. He faced David Peterson, who had five strikeouts in three and two-thirds innings, giving up only one run, but had six walks. He had this curveball and painted slider. Dakota Hudson had three strikeouts in six and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs and had these sliders. Johnny Cueto had three strikeouts in five and a third innings, giving up four earned runs, out of this changeup and sinker. And I thought this overlay of Cueto's mechanics from a side view was really cool. You can see just what hitters have to deal with from his varying timing. He faced Christian Javier, who had two strikeouts in four and two-thirds innings, giving up four earned runs and had this elevated fastball. Nick Pavetta had seven strikeouts in four and a third innings, giving up four runs and had this fastball and wicked curveballs. Look at the drop on these. That's over five feet of drop. He faced Josiah Gray, who had four strikeouts in three innings, giving up five runs, and had these curveballs and cutters. Alex Fiedo had a solid outing with six strikeouts in five innings, giving up only one hit and no runs. He had these nasty change-ups and sliders, and he battled Bailey Ober, who had six strikeouts in five innings, giving up two runs, and had this fastball, change-up, and slider, and picked up a sword. Kyle Hendricks had four strikeouts in six innings, giving up three runs, and had these cut change-ups. He faced off against Tuki Toussaint, who had four Ks in four innings, giving up three runs, and had this fastball splitter and pretty curveball. Michael Waka was really good with five strikeouts and five innings, giving up three hits and no runs. He had this painted fastball and, of course, his wicked changeups. Zach Wheeler had five Ks in seven innings, giving up one run on three hits. He had this wicked slider and these incredible two-seamers. Look how filthy that is. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with that. Wheeler battled Yusei Kikuchi, who had seven strikeouts in six innings, giving up only one run on four hits. And I thought he looked fantastic with these overpowering fastballs, as well as these nasty sliders, and picked up a sword. And of course, he had his usual awesome K-struts, including this fist pump. John Schneider, the manager of the Blue Jays, said what I've been saying all season. He loves his reaction on strikeouts because he sees the joy that Kikuchi's pitching with. Someone get me a Yusei Kikuchi bobblehead. Adrian Hauser had six strikeouts in five and a third innings, giving up three runs. And his sinker looked really good. He had this wicked sinker to bets. That thing just keeps running, as well as these front door sinkers, including this painted one. And he also had these filthy sliders. He faced one of my co-filthiest starters of the day, Bobby Miller. Miller had four Ks in six innings, giving up one run on only one hit. Despite his relatively low strikeout total, I thought he was dominant. He had these fastballs of 101 and 100 miles an hour. And I thought his changeup looked really good. He had this beautiful front door changeup and this other nasty changeup. And he has room to throw these changeups more. Hitters are only hitting 133 against his changeup with a 37% whiff rate. But he only threw six changeups all game. And here's a look at Miller's pitch mix for the game. Lucas Giolito had five strikeouts and in six innings, giving up four runs and had these changeups. And he faced another of the co-filthiest starters from yesterday. I mean, I'll probably give another one to Kikuchi, too. Jordan Montgomery, who went six innings with nine Ks. Nice. Giving up only one run. He had these fastballs, and the Ripper got some kills in. As well as these dirty two-seamers and change-ups, 
and this filthy curveball picking up a sword. While we're talking about filthy starters, Paul Skeens pitched yesterday and only pitched one inning, but look at his stuff. The first pick in the draft is absolutely disgusting. His fastball up to 100 miles an hour, nasty changeups and sliders, as well as this ridiculous 97 mile an hour sinker. I thought that was his best pitch from yesterday. And if Skeens was in the major leagues, he probably would have been my filthiest starter of the day. That's how good Paul Skeens is right now, and he's only going to get better. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Brian Abreu had this heater. Emmanuel Classe had this nasty slider. Mark Leiter Jr. had these wicked splitters. Sean Manaya had this filthy sweeper and fastballs. David Bednar had this gas. Shintaro Fujinami had this 100-mile-an-hour fastball and wicked cutters. Luke Jackson, a.k.a. your friendly neighborhood slider man, caved the side with sliders. Bryce Jarvis, that former stud pitcher out of Duke, picked up his first two major league Ks with his slider and changeup. Ryan Yarbrough had this nasty slow curveball. John Schreiber had this sick two-seamer for a sword. Josh Spores had these nasty curveballs. Colin Holderman had this mean sweeper and 100-mile-an-hour two-seamer. And here's an overlay of Holderman's sweeper for a ball and then a 100-mile-an-hour sinker for a strike. And you can really see why you would give up on that sinker. It looks like more of a ball than that sweeper you just took for a ball, yet it has a ton of run and ends up catching the zone. Some filthy pitch sequencing. Gregory Santos had this White Castle special. Ryan Presley had this changeup and 3,275 RPM curveball. You can almost hear that thing spin. Jordan Romano had these filthy sliders, and here's an overlay of his 99-mile-an-hour fastball and 89-mile-an-hour slider, and good luck. And my filthiest reliever of the day yesterday was Jordan Hicks for this 99-mile-an-hour fastball, this 101-mile-an-hour heater, and then this sick slider. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Oh my god, this is undoubtedly one of the worst called strikes of the year. This call by Bruce Dreckman is absolute dreck. If you let pitchers call their own balls and strikes, there's no pitcher in the league that would call this a strike because he'd be too embarrassed. Listen to the reaction from the Nats broadcast team to the Nats pitcher picking up a strikeout on that pitch. Strike three call. Oh my goodness. That is awful. 3-2 and a delay call to strike three. Bring him up. Simply awful. Your robot overlords are coming for your jobs. What is up, everybody? My picks of the day today are a three-leg parlay. I'm going to start out with Reese Olsen for 6Ks or more, then take Clayton Kershaw for 6Ks or more, and top it off with Kevin Gosman for 7Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? Strike three call. Oh, my goodness. 